Hello everyone and welcome to my X and Y Pokemon prediction. I'm Smithy. Hello. Um, everyone who loves X and Y knows Froakie is the lovable frog water Pokemon, the water star. Um, there's been a mixed bag of thoughts really of what his type is going to be. Like his Charizard, which is like fire and flying, and Blastoise. And, you know, they've all they've all had it all except Blastoise, but they've all had dual types in Pokemon and everyone's kind of wondering what Froakie's going to be and what Fennekin's going to be. So these are kind of my predictions. So a lot of people, purely because of this picture, have thought Froakie is going to be water and ice, which I wouldn't mind. I love ice Pokemon, you know. Some of them are quite can be quite weak. Um, I'm looking at you, Bomber Snow. Um, but I think that'd be quite cool. But that said, there's a lot of water Pokemon, especially water starters, that aren't ice type, that aren't ice type, um, that like just land ice beam, which would quite be like that. That definitely looks like ice beam to me. Um, so for that reason, that's kind of thrown me off the whole. It could be that. So this is the picture that led me to think he's going to be water and fighting. There's uh, in the anime. There's an episode where he's hiding in the bushes. He springs out and throws these like cloud-like projectiles. Which, if I show you, a ninja tool. It's a kunai, it's like a ninja throwing knife, and they'd throw like sometimes more like, more, like five at a time, but in all directions. So uh, it's because of that that this kind of led me to believe that he's gone for the whole ninja kind of thing. And as you can see here in this picture bit here. Um, the whole hand sign kind of thing, which he's also got in like the Pokedex entry part. So that, you know, the whole ninja thing, that I think that could work. And also <coughs> because of this, right? This is my this is my whole my whole thing, right? Fennekin, fire, right? Fire beats grass, which is chest bin, and grass beats water, which is Froki. And Froki beats Fennekin. That's just the cycle that goes. Keeps everything fair. Your opponent will always normally pick the Pokemon that's has a type advantage to you, even though they've only got fucking Pac-Man Growl. <sighs> Never got that. Well, Fennekin. No one wants it to be fire and fighting. I don't want it to be fire and fighting. You don't want it to be fire and fighting, trust me. Okay. For that. Fire and Psychic. Everyone says it's gonna be fire and psychic. It makes it makes perfect sense. It looks cool. And it could be like some crazy psychic fiery fox which would be totally badass. We we all know that, right? Chespin. Chespin has been called grass and grass and this, grass and that, grass and ground. I think it's gonna be grass and dark. It looks it looks like it's gonna turn into some kind of ferocious some kind of like ferocious jungle grass beast kind of thing. I think it will look really cool. And like I said, Froakie can be water and fire. And this is why Psychic is super effective against fighting. Fighting is super effective against dark, and dark is super effective against fight uh, against psychic. So they're all stronger against each other. But then whatever they're strong against, they're also so, like, so they're all equally balanced, counterbalanced. So like nothing has an unfair advantage one type or another. So Froki can put up a fight against Fennekin. Whereas Fennekin can also put a fight up back because he's sidekick against fine, so it doesn't it'll just do normal damage. So I just think that would be that'd be pretty awesome. So like, if you look at the type matchups here, you can see like the sidekick. Boom, fucker! Like I'll, I'll, I'll let you if you want to pause and have a look yourself at the type matchups, you can see. I'll pull a face, you can pause this face. Ooh. Okay, that's my face. Uh, yeah, this is like a draft of what someone's made for uh, for the Pokemon. So <coughs> there's um, the second evolution form of Chespin, and the, and the fight. It kind of looks like a giant tree, but that still looks kind of still looks kind of cool. And then obviously we've got the evolved final evolved form of Fennekin, which definitely come on, I'm not finding that definitely looks kind of like Psyche. Reminds me of um, Cubimon. If any of you guys love Digimon as kids and stuff, or as adults, I don't know who you are. I like Digimon. I'm not afraid to say it. And uh, yeah, so we've got we've got Froakies too. These are these are completely fan made, obviously they're not legit. But I'm just saying as a rough as a rough thing to go by. Um, like the way he's got his hands positioned, like kind of like a fighting style. You know what I mean? Like it's just that's it really. So 
that's my prediction of types for Pokemon X and Y. If you liked my video, hit the like button and subscribe. Um, I say I'm going to get videos out soon. I'm probably the worst person for keeping to what I say about videos. I'm trying to upload videos when I can. I'm going to try and up actually upload quite a lot more this year and do some Let's Plays and stuff. But I appreciate you coming and watching my video and subscribe, share it, do whatever you want, comment, call me a dick, whatever you want to do, I don't care. But um, this has helped you, or, or maybe when the video, when, you know, when the types have officially been revealed, you can be like, you're fucking right mate, well done. If I'm right, I'm probably, I'm probably wrong, I'm always wrong, but thank you.